Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So this is the braiding pattern that I decided to do for the knotless crochet braids. And the braids does not have to be neat because it's gonna be underneath the hair. As you can see, I am taking the needle and thread and I am sewing down the end of the braid. You can also use a bobby pin or you can use the crochet hair to tack down the braid. Okay, so this is the kind of hair that I'm using and I'll place it down in the description box. You can see what color and the brand of the hair there. So what you're gonna do is split the hair into two pieces, place it on the latch hook. Once it's on the latch hook, you're gonna pull it through the braid, open the loop and put one section of the hair in and then make a knot. Now I'm going to slow it down here, so you're going to twist the hair so it's thinner and easier to put on the latch hook. Once you have it on the latch hook, you're going to pull it through your French braid, open up the loop. Once the loop is open, then you're going to take it and twist it around your finger once. Take one half of the piece of hair and put it through the loop, then pull it again and make a knot. This knot should secure the hair good enough to the point where you don't have to make two. And then as you see here, I am doing the spacing one finger width apart, but in the front a little bit later, you'll see that I'm putting the hair a little bit closer so it can look natural. And I'm gonna section the hair into fours for the front of the hair. And as you can see, she can put the hair into a ponytail if she like, or you wouldn't be able to detect it at all. Okay, so now that we're close to the front of the hair, we're gonna use the thinner pieces of hair and put the hair closer together so it look a little bit natural. So I took one piece of the Marley hair and split it into fours.
Okay, so this is not the final look of the hair. Um, this is before I actually cut and shape the hair. I did not film the final look, but as you can see, she can part the hair in any direction she would like, and also she can put it in a ponytail. However, this hair does not react well to water. We did try to do a braid out process to define some of the curls a little bit better since it did get a frizzy when I separated the hair, but it became a hot as mess and started to mat together. I do not suggest this hair for anyone. The insulation of the process was great. You know, it was seamless and you couldn't really see the knots, but do not put water on this hair if you do purchase it. I have used other Marley brands before and I have not had this problem, so I'm not quite Quite sure what exactly the problem was with this brand thank you for watching my video and like always have a good day and subscribe